All right, so here we are with our final for Daily Race A, April 30th, 2018, which is a one-make crossbow race here at Majoris Center. I qualified on pole position. I really like this car around this track. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. So let's do the usual, turn off TCS. And here we go. Let's take a defensive line to turn number one. Obviously, Brennan Huff is on the outside. Okay, stay on the inside. Stay on the inside. Yep, there we go. He worked out. Be nice and gentle with our. Oh, he's getting loose. Well, this car is like walking on a tightrope in the sense that the wheelbase is so short and the handling is just all over the place that any mistake, you will literally just feel, you will feel everything and you'll feel like you're going to fall off, you know? Man, he just keeps on getting loose. All right, start of the second lap. Just remember here, just gotta be easy with the car. By the way everything is looking, it looks like he's just gonna keep on getting loose. Actually, no, he's getting on us. <laughs> I spoke way too soon. And see what I mean? We made a small mistake there, and just the short wheelbase of the crossbow doesn't help. Lost quite a bit of time to P2. And somehow with our mistake, Keep the fastest lap of the race so far. So there's literally nothing new to report. We basically have it in the bag. I mean, we're being the smartest driver out here. Not really trying to push that hard and the guys behind us, they kept getting loose out of every really tight corner. Current gap is 2.5 seconds. Let's try to keep it that way. Nice save. Although we weren't really in any immediate danger, it was still a bit of oversteer coming out of two. Three, three, I'm sorry, three. Who just knocked over that cone there? Well, second place gained about a second on us. Damn, he's gaining even more time. Okay, we need to seriously stop getting loose on two. Three, why do I keep calling it two? Maybe because turn one doesn't really feel like, you know, maybe it feels like turn one and two are connected to each other. Maybe that's why. And that's just the way my mind works. 
All right, something had to happen to Brendan Huff. Because we're somehow we're three seconds ahead. Nope, 2.8, 2.7. Point is, we gained a lot of time. Something must have happened with him. Although I do have to say, if there's one thing that we're doing correctly here, it's being consistent. First lap doesn't count because obviously that's the opening lap. Onto the grass. Come on, get out, get out, get out. There we go. I seriously need to learn how to shut up. So before that grass cutting, I was just going to say we've been consistent the entire time because not counting the first lap, all of our laps have been in the 52s. Including this lap, okay. I thought I was gonna lose a lot of time with that grass cut. If we keep that up, turn three is gonna bite us in the ass. Stop getting loose. And I'm trying. I'm honestly trying, but I need to try something different, maybe. But at the same time, we're not really losing anything to Brennan Huff. Alright, two laps to go. There we go. Now we're not getting loose out of three. Nice and steady. Final lap, and I just realized that Brendan Huff did a 51. Oh, damn, okay. It's still not going to be enough. Like, the gap up front really hasn't changed at all that much, honestly. It's been a consistent two and a half. I mean, sometimes it goes up to three, sometimes it goes up to like 1.9, but it's always came back to around the two and a half. the final corner and we win at Majore. Doing some victory swerving and we win by over two seconds. And that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video consider hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing. Again, I'm the Movie Chicane. Have an awesome day everybody.